So, you're a student or on a tight budget, and one economical iPad like the iPad Mini 6 since you don't want a large tablet. You consider buying a used iPad to save money. That's smart. But we do not recommend it. So, join us as we discuss six reasons why you should not buy a used iPad Mini 6. Number 6. Writing and Artistry The first Apple Pencil's major drawback was that it was difficult to keep up with without a case with a storage pocket. The most notable improvement of the iPad Mini 6 accessories is the Apple Pencil's magnetic attachment to the long side of the iPad Mini, which allows for storage as well as easier connection and charging. For Apple, Apple Pencil attaches magnetically to the side of iPad Mini, so it's always with you and ready for a spur-of-the-moment sketch or spontaneous brainstorming session. But unlike the other iPad models, the iPad Mini's virtual keyboard is much too small for lengthy work, and there isn't a first-party attachable keyboard either. We have more info about the keyboard issue, so stay with us. In any case, the iPad Mini lacks the screen space of a tablet designed solely for artistic reasons. So, if you appreciate art, this is a bummer for you. Number 5. No Face ID The Touch ID sensor has been shifted to the top-mounted power button on the new iPad Mini by Apple because the device no longer has a home button. If you've grown accustomed to Face ID on your iPhone or iPad Pro, you might miss it though. Bummer. The new location for Touch ID makes a lot of sense when the iPad Mini is lying flat on the desk for note-taking purposes. However, after using the iPad Mini six months later, we realized that when holding it, it's difficult not to wish that Face ID was available. I see. But I guess we should be grateful because our evil twin or doppelganger cannot unlock our phones when we are away. Number 4. Keyboard Issues the fact that the iPad Mini 6 cannot be used as a laptop substitute is one of its main issues. The iPad Mini 6 has a larger 8.3-inch display than the smaller 7.9-inch display, although being generally smaller than the iPad Mini 5. For work-related tasks requiring typing and stylus dexterity, the iPad Mini 6 is too tiny. You might eventually use it to write, use social media, send emails, read the news, and browse the web. The size issue might be resolved, you might suppose, by adding a keyboard case, but no. An iPad Mini 6 case must be the same size as the device itself. There aren't any tablet keyboard cases on the market right now that have a built-in, extendable foldable keyboard. You do think, okay, I'll check out Apple's keyboard cases for iPad Mini 6, but there aren't any, regrettably. The iPad Mini 6 lacks the Magic Keyboard. Also, the iPad Mini 6 doesn't support the Smart Keyboard Folio and lacks a Smart Keyboard. A dedicated keyboard case that fits an iPad Mini 6 doesn't, in Apple's opinion, make any sense. The iPad Mini 6 must be turned to landscape mode for typing. An A4 size paper is wider than the iPad Mini 6 height. Number 3. Waterproofing Official IP ratings for iPads have never existed, and for a good reason. You probably won't frequently find yourself in circumstances where they could become wet. The iPad Mini deserves some level of formal water resistance because of how portable it is, making it one of the few iPads that do. No one is going to take their iPad Mini swimming, but those who are more daring with this little tablet would feel more secure if the gadget had an IP classification. Surely an IP rating is warranted given the Apple's advertisements for the iPad Mini feature real-world examples of people using the device in the wild. So, are you still interested in purchasing a used iPad Mini 6? Let's see how that goes after we discuss the battery life and note-taking later on so watch out for those. If you are enjoying this video, kindly subscribe to our channel for more content on Apple. Number 2. Battery Life Despite Apple's boasts that the iPad Mini 6 can last for 10 hours on a single charge, we have yet to witness such impressive battery life. The battery on the iPad Mini 6 Wi-Fi model currently drains after roughly 7 to 8 hours of use, even without putting a lot of strain on the processor. So, if you buy an old one, how many hours of battery life would you get? Think about it. Number 1. Note-taking. It's difficult to comfortably multitask while taking notes. 
Additionally, because the screen is very small, you will need to zoom in and scroll frequently when taking notes. How is that fun? The Mini 6 is indeed too small to take notes by hand. Choose the 2020 iPad Pro 11, which is superior to the Air 4 and costs around the same if you truly want to take handwritten notes. The 11-inch iPad is ideal for taking notes while viewing a PDF on a split screen. On the Mini, you most certainly cannot do that comfortably. Attempting to take any sort of serious notes presents a dilemma. To obtain a sufficiently small, you must continuously zoom in and out and forget about using a split screen for almost anything without squinting or hunching over the tablet. The one to return it will be strong, but keep in mind that since you purchased it used, the seller might not be willing to accept it back. Its entitlement to a full refund is recognized for customers who buy it brand new from phone stores. Do not misunderstand us in our iPad Mini 6 review. The iPad 6 Mini is fantastic. The ideal portable iPad for catching up on social networking and watching YouTube videos is wonderful for one-handed use. All we are suggesting is that if you love the iPad Mini 6, you might want to think about purchasing a new one. At least you can have good hours and battery life. While you're thinking about purchasing one, consider which keyboards are the best fit for your iPad. Our video on top iPad Mini 6 keyboard for best experience 2022 will tell you more.